Hello. Hello. Hi, is this Ariana Grande? It is. Hi. I'm just celebrating my birthday right now with um, Victoria's. Who? I'm back! For all 50 people who watch me, or even less, I am back to do another fucking tutorial, and this one is based off the queen herself, Ariana Grande. This is the look that we're going for. So basically, a queen, fucking royalty, shining, gorgeous, and then there's me. Hair that's not even fucking done, it's greasy, it's not on anything, so we're gonna try and... Well, I guess we did try to create that, recreate that, and this is how it turned out. Sorry, my hair is a mess. Continue watching if you want to try and kind of look like Ariana Grande, but we don't look like Ariana Grande, so let's try this out. I am so apologetic. I continue to use the same BB cream and people are like, okay, like we've fucking seen this before. Because every other BB cream or foundation that I have is, it's, it's like, bitch, you're meant for January, bitch, you're meant for March. This is the only thing that's meant for, like, summer. I went to the beach the other day and um, all I end up using is coconut oil for tanning, like a tanning lotion and I always think that like, oh, like it'll help me get tan faster, but no, and I'm getting me damn burnt. So the first day, like it's fine now, I guess it turned into a tan, but the first day it was literally like, hi, I'm a fucking lobster. Here in Ontario, um, if anybody is outside of Canada who probably isn't watching this because nobody ever watches my videos, I have the weather app actually open. So you can see that it's 25 degrees right now and that's hot for us. In order for our foundation, our BB cream, our fucking paint that we put on our face to stay in place, we have to set that. And like always, because I don't have money to for new products, you've probably seen this in the last 100 videos if you watch me, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Invisible Powder to set. Set, 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 set. Although I did go to the beach like two days ago, and you know, like I did get a tan because I finally left my house, I still feel like I need to like warm up a little bit, you know, because I'm still looking a little fucking bland. Is bland a word? Who knows? I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette, so I'm going in with the bronzer. It's has, oh, for people who don't like orange undertones, you're not going to like this, but, I mean, I do for the summer because, like, whatever, like, you're going to look orange anyways. Especially for the summer. What? Especially for the summer, um, I don't like using concealer just because, like, once again, it adds, like, another layer of coverage, which I don't need because I already have really bad skin, so it's just going to make it look like I have really more bad skin. I'm going to set the under eye. Well, there's nothing really to set, but I'm going to, I guess, highlight the under eye with a banana powder, or you could use any light powder. So I'm going in with... The Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour, yeah, so this one, this is number, I don't know what number this is, I know they have like a bunch of different ones. I hate the bronzer in this, but I love this color for highlighting, so you'll see. To highlight, I guess, like the tops of our cheeks, so you know that way we have kind of like, we look like we were sculpted from the gods, even though we weren't. Going in with a cute, cheapy little hard candy glow all the way. Um, it's supposed to be like a, yeah, a baked blush, but like, this is too glowy to be a blush. So I use it as a highlight, and trust me, if you, it's only seven bucks. It's only seven dollars, it's not like you're paying forty-five dollars for a dinky little highlight. So, once you try this, if anybody actually, once again, listens to me, um, you'll be like, George, thank you, because this is great. So for blush, um, in the picture, Ariana Grande has like a really, really, really light layer of blush. It doesn't like go crazy with like pinks or anything. So I decided, you know what, since, for instance, NARS Orgasm has like shimmer in it, why can't I use one of the NYX Illuminators highlights as a blush? Especially the fact that like this isn't really my color. I always use it, but it never shows up because it's like my skin tone-ish. So this is my next little tool. I'm going to be using the Alley Girl Pro Concealer. I think it's just like a natural or something, something I've used before, just to prime my lids. I think a lot of people spend a lot of damn money on like eye primers. I mean like they work, but like you can find just something as cheap. So concealer is a liquid-ish consistency, so like anything else, you have to set it. I mean like it's summer, so like why would you want to look fucking melted? like a damn snowman. So I'm just using 
like always, my Marcel translucent powder. So I decided that as opposed to like always using like a bunch of different palettes for different colors, I mean like that's great because some palettes don't have the ideal color that you're looking for, I decided to focus mainly on just because Ariana Grande's like um, eyeshadow is very, it's not, I'm not going to say it's basic, but it's very naked palette one. As you can see there's like a bunch of colors here that you could use for the idea that she has like the brown crease, the pink lid. Hi. You are close once again, and thank you for, you know, wanting to see all my pimples and all my imperfections, and oh, uh, the little hairs focus growing beneath my eyebrows because it's time to get them dipped. So she evidently has a crease color going on, and I think it's like a very um, gray undertone, like mm, brownie color, so the perfect color for that to use is this one right here, but. Just to deepen that a little bit, just because, like, I mean, like, it's nice, but, like, I want it a little darker. I'm going to be using the actual bronzer from the Wet n Wild palette. Hi, unibrow. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little hairs. There's two options I could go for. Here's the palette. I could do this or this. I feel like I'm going to mix them. And I'm going to be taking this color here. Hustle. And so let's do the bottom part, I guess, now. I'm going to take a little bit of... Buck again. Do I want Buck? Yeah. So basically this color here. And I'm going to take it with the, actually, the... It's not a Dollarama brush. I'm going to take it with the Urban Decay Naked um, eyeshadow brush that came with the palette in this little empty holder. And I'm going to take the sharper end and I'm just going to construct a line using that sharp end and get a blend it out after. Time for mascara. So, unfortunately I don't have the funds to buy full size so I always end up getting these little dinkies travel size. So we're going to first, I think I'm going to use both. Actually, I was going to say I was going to use maybe one on the top, one on the bottom, but no, I think I'm going to mix both. Time for falsies. I'm using the Ardell Lashes in 311 Black. And the glue that I've always been using is the Benefit Lash Glue. Now we sit here and let this bitch dry. So I went off camera and did both lashes, and um, I mean, like it's cute. Oh, like I stupid have this uh, stupid, I stupid have this damn mascara, like little blog. If you look deeply into the picture of Ariana, you could tell that she's wearing a white eyeliner underneath, or like on her bottom waterline. So we are doing exactly that. I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in Nude. Now that our eyes look bigger and they don't look fucking small like mine, we're gonna add bottom mascara. So now we're going to move on to lips. Okay, now that you are fully zoomed out and you can see the entire look without the lips. Sorry, let's cover those lips up. So basically, I look like a high-end hooker working at the corner of Jarvis and Gerard. Hooker Harvey's for all my Toronto kitties. We are going to be classy and we are working with two different colors for lips. Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star and Drug Lord by Jeffree Star. We're going to mix the two. And... If my lover is watching this, which I hope he is, he was the one who got these for me, and I love him. Hi, babe. I feel like I'm referring to him as, like, a boyfriend, but, like, he's just, like, my BFF. 